MCM, the Eater Garlic Bread, the Respect of Women, and of course, your Garlic Bread Road Heavyweight Champion X3. And today is the day after TLC. It was kind of a decent pay per view, so did I hit you with the gun? <laughs> my, my bad, I didn't mean to hit. <laughs> Last night was TLC, and it was actually a pretty decent pay-per-view, so I don't really have that many uh, angry tweets to read. So this will just be like a disappointed wrestling fans tweet reaction. I don't, I don't know. But size over there, as you know, as I threw garlic bread at her. So she might read a few of these in this video. So with that being said, cue the sad music. That's a bullshit. Mickey should have won. She deserves to win. She will be a better champion than Alexa Bliss. No. She would not. I love Mickey James and all, but Alexa Bliss just has it. She's great on the mic. She's good in the ring. Mickey James is honestly, actually, I know I can't see it. I can't see Mickey James as champion right now. Because if Mickey James wins the championship right now, you know what that means. She'll be a transitional champion, will not be taken seriously until Asuka kicks her fucking head off, sends her back to 2006. So it's best that Alexa won this match. Just. We don't want Mickey to die, okay? We don't want that. Do you want that? Not really, she's got kids. Exactly. What temper was thrown in the locker room for her to retain again? Getting bored now, need a proper champion, not a child. I, I don't even know what to say to this one. We're just, we're just gonna... This is the prime reason I don't watch the product anymore. Shut the fuck! Oh my god, I knew we were gonna get one of these tweets in every video. Well, I don't watch them to be anymore because they don't have the finish and what? Shut the fuck! You're gonna watch it again. You, you had the time of day to reply to the tweet. You were probably watching the fucking event. Don't be cool for Twitter. Ooh, Bullet Club for life. I don't watch WWE anymore. You're not cool. You're gonna watch WWE some more. It's not that deep. Like, I could have seen if this was a reaction to another match, Alexa versus Mickey. That's your cutoff point. Really? Not Jinder Mahal. Not our non existent Universal Champion, but fucking Alexa versus Mickey. That, that did it for you? <sighs> Smack her butt again for old time's sake, Mickey. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. You got some people complaining about Jason Jordan and Elias Sampson. Well, Elias. Do you walk with Elias? I walk with Elias. Do you walk with Elias? I walk with the lies. So you took 10 minutes off of AJ versus Baller for this? SMH. It wasn't that. What are you doing with the garlic bread? Moving it. Oh. Okay. Okay, look, I understand. We wanted more AJ and Finn, but this was needed. We needed to cool down because with that shit show of a main event, and I'm not saying shit show as in that was bad, I meant like the off the rails main event, we needed to simmer down after Finn and AJ. So this match was needed. And, and plus, he is the next generation of great. The next generation of great. And the obvious tweet of the week, they are not related, 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 they are not related. Did you know they are not related? I had no idea. Fuck, why do people ruin everything? I really thought he was the next generation, generation of... Uh, this is from Finn versus AJ, arguably the match of tonight, you know. I just can't stand this kid. Like Ziggler says, a cool entrance doesn't make you a wrestler. Too small to compete with guys two times his size. Makes it too obvious it's scripted. Are you fucking slow? Are you f... Those are like two of the best dudes in the business. What are they talking about? Whose mans is this? 
Finn Balor is one of the best. This booking lately is... I can agree with you on that. That's stupid. But if you do not put some respect on Finn Balor's name, I will coup de gras you, you myself. I will beat your ass. Put... I will not tolerate Finn Balor slander anymore. From this point forward, any Finn Balor slander results in an automated block. And you might, if I catch you on the streets, slander Finn Balor, I'm gonna slide you. I'm gonna fold you like a fucking omelet. Balor lames is cancer. What did I just say about the slander? You know what? That tweet didn't even make fucking sense. You know who will be upset about that? Susan G. <laughs> So last night, Enzo Mori won the title back, <laughs> and this warrior says, please everybody stop watching 205 Live. <laughs> if, if we all just band together, just band together and not watch 205 Live, maybe they will stop the division in its entirety. Who watches 205 Live anyway? Exactly. So if the little few people who watches it now, we band together, we could stop this. We could make the Cruiserweight division great again. And last but not least, we have the main event tweets. And this is where stupidity reaches an all-time high. So starting off with worst pay-per-view ever, hashtag rider fail. You can tell this is like some old fuck on Twitter because no one just hashtags anymore unless they're talking about like hashtag TLC. But if you just go hashtag fail, you are hashtag fucking stupid. Too bad the match sucked. I love Kurt, but this match was dreadful. Mm, 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 mm. Only bad thing about this match was Kurt Angle didn't come out in his attire in his entrance. The shield thing was kind of fucking stupid. Now, I understand Roman Reigns is sick, you know, he has the mumps, so, obviously, it's really not the shield. But having Kurt in the vest was seriously really fucking stupid. I mean, it was fun, he's like, ah, yeah, he's in the shield, nostalgia, but it didn't feel right. This whole match didn't feel right, because I feel like if Roman Reigns was healthy, Miz would have won. Some of the spots would have been a little bit better, but Kurt Angle returning late in the match was actually really cool as fuck. It was cool as fuck. But the match wasn't that bad. There was hella spots, but it was not a bad match. Shit went down in this match, actually. Like, if you watch the match, it, it's, it's kind of slow in the beginning, but toward the end, shit goes off the rails. I don't know what the hell was happening. There's chairs falling from the ceiling, people get thrown in dump trucks, just table spots. I mean, well, Dean and Tables did not have a friendly night, but... It was actually a really good match, not gonna lie. But I did want The Miz and company to win, so. That's all the time we have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe. If you haven't already, comment down below your thoughts on this video. Thanks to Cyan for the side commentary and the raffling, the rumbling of my garlic bread prop. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> she's, has, she's not on the camera because she's just in the bed. I, I moved my room back around. That's not the point. <laughs> Don't forget my shirts, X Ever 3 shirts are still available and I might have a new shirt coming soon. I don't know yet. Let me talk to my man just a little bit. But you can buy the X Ever 3 shirts on whatamaneuver.net slash X3. If you want to look like uh, this person right here, then you can go purchase your own shirts. There's also hoodies. You know what's hoodie season? I'm in a hoodie right now. That's just really not mine anymore because science stole it. But you can buy yours today. Being said, I'm X3 for that shit. Tell you guys, eat God bed, respect women, and join the club.